Hey guys, it's Sarah, founder and CEO of Clover by Clove and Hallow, and I am so excited to introduce you in more detail to the Clover brand today and walk you through step by step all of the products I used to go from this to this. Now, before I go any further, let's talk about the brand as a whole. What is Clover by Clove and Hallow? Who am I? Why should you care? Some of you may know me from my first makeup brand called Clove and Hallow, which was more of a higher price point prestige beauty line focused on being clean, cruelty free, vegan, um, made in the USA, all those good things. I am still incredibly passionate about all of those values. However, I started feeling very strongly that the industry is missing the mark if products that sort of fit all of those things and check off all of those boxes are all so incredibly expensive. I think we're missing a big piece, which is who can afford these better beauty choices? And if we're putting so much effort into making them, shouldn't more people have access to them? With Clover, that is the focus. So all of the values that I know and care about, so good ingredients, good sourcing, everything is safe, skin loving, cruelty free and vegan. The product line's completely made here in the USA. The packaging is super sustainable. We're net plastic neutral and we're an independently woman owned business. That's me. It's really incredible when you think about the pricing being under 25, most under $20 but we're using the same manufacturers, the same labs, it's the same team behind the scenes. Like we are doing everything we can to give you everything you want, but at an affordable price point. We're gonna be using this channel to post more videos on technique, product education, behind the scenes of the industry, all that kind of stuff. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna catch that. Otherwise, let's get into it. First up, we have Skin Is In Foundation. This is a really lovely medium coverage foundation with what I would call a skin neutral finish. So what I mean by that is it's not glowy and it's also not matte. It's somewhere right in the middle. I did that very intentionally, by the way, because I want people to be able to customize how they want the finish to look. Do they want to add in or, you know, put glowy products on top? Do they want to mattify further? Having the skin neutral finish is kind of the best of both worlds. So my favorite way to apply this product is to rub kind of a thin layer wherever you might need it and then blend in with a buffing style brush. I find that this picks up the least amount of product so you get the right coverage and you're not wasting anything, but also it leaves the best finish basically. Something I really love about this foundation is the longevity. So I do my makeup early in the morning when I'm up with my son. And by the time I get ready to take my makeup off late at night, everything is still looking pretty dang nice, which, you know, that doesn't always happen. Do you see that finish? Like it's not glossy. It's not glowy. It's not matte either. You can still see some of my natural skin radiance coming through. It just looks like real skin. By the way, this tube is sugarcane bioplastic, which significantly reduces gas emissions during production. So this was the more sustainable choice for us when we were considering um, different types of foundation packaging. Next, we have Camo Cover Concealer. This is a heavy duty, full coverage concealer, and that is why I love it. You only need a very tiny amount. Like I said, it is full coverage. It is a thicker texture that comes out of the tube. My personal favorite way of applying this is with my fingertip. I find that thicker formulas need the emolliency of a fingertip to really um, melt into the skin. So if I use a sponge or a brush, I still tap over it with my fingertip. I love this because you have to use so little product. And I think excessive concealer use is one of the reasons why people think their skin doesn't look good when they're out and about because you have on so much concealer. Having sort of this thicker, fuller coverage formula means you can use less and you get the same effect. By the way, this formula can cover up melasma, tattoos, like really significant coloration on the skin. So your under eye circles, your breakouts, all of that kind of stuff, <laughs> they won't even put up a fight against camo cover for real. So this is what my skin is looking like at this stage. I feel really good about it. It looks like real skin, even up close, but it's more perfected and even. Next, we have blush. And this is one of my favorite products that we make. It's called Press Silk Blushing Balm. I am obsessed with this. And this is actually my favorite shade, Heartthrob. 
The product is very aptly named for its like silky balmy texture. I just very lightly was running my finger over the top. Do you see kind of like that balmy glossy finish? That is why I love this product. It looks so dang good on your skin. It puts vibrancy and youthfulness and this juicy glow back into your skin. It's incredible. And the pigmentation is kind of right in the sweet spot. So you can put it on and you're like, ah, is that too much? But it is so incredibly easy to blend out. And then if you need to build it up to get a little bit more coverage, that is easy enough. I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I love blush. When I tell you guys, this just makes my skin look so incredible. I really mean it. I noticed an enormous difference when I would try other blush formulas after using this blushing balm. The other cool thing is that this compact is 100% previously recycled plastic, which reduces plastic waste and the need for fresh plastic production, which is a huge issue in our world and especially in the beauty industry. Do you guys hear a vacuum upstairs? My husband's vacuuming. Moving on to highlighter. These glow sticks are an incredible product for getting glossy, glowy skin. Unlike some products that leave like a really super shimmery and opaque and difficult finish to work with, these are more of like a glossy glow finish. One doesn't have any shimmer or color in it at all. And then this one has like a champagne shimmer finish. But what you're looking for is that truly glossy balmy glow that captures the light it is so stunning this product also won glamour magazine's best highlighter in the clean beauty category so it's legit and this is what i like i like to just add glow back into the skin selectively versus adding it in everywhere because then i find that i look a little too glowy and perhaps a little schwitzy instead this component is 100 percent previously recycled plastic which helps reduce plastic waste and helps kind of remove the need for fresh plastic production, which is always good for the environment. Then we have our plush pigment sticks, which are one of my favorite ways to get ready quickly, but look like you put in a lot of effort. These are creamy pigmented eyeshadow sticks that you can apply super quickly, blend out incredibly easily. And I like to use them in one of two ways. Either I will use them on their own or I will um, layer them under powder eyeshadow. When I say they blend quickly, I mean they blend quickly. Just one or two seconds of tapping and you're blended. So like all cream eyeshadow products, eventually they will start to crease. That's just kind of the nature unless you've layered powder over them. The cool thing about these plush pigment sticks is they're very easy to re-blend. So if they start to crease like five hours into wear, you can literally just re-tap them and it'll blend perfectly and you get another five hours of wear time. I just really love how simple it is to use these. It makes my life so much easier getting ready in the morning. And these tubes are 50% previously recycled plastic. So our goal is to reduce plastic waste and reduce the need to create more fresh plastic check and because i love this color revolution i'm actually going to apply a little bit more all over and blend it out for you to see max out mascara is my secret weapon for getting really volumized fluffy lashes i actually love the way that this formula also doesn't irritate my eyes i have very sensitive eyes i have contacts and i find that a lot of mascaras by the end of the day are making my eyes red itchy irritated that does not happen with this. The trick with this mascara is to see that there's two different sides. So that short spiky side up top is gonna give you really thick, sort of like chunky lashes. And the comb side along the bottom that's a little bit longer is gonna give you more separated fluffy lashes. So you can get two looks in one um, or decide if there's one side you like more and go with that one. When I apply mascara, I like to start at the base and sort of wiggle up and sort of pull and lengthen. And that is what one quick little coat looks like. It is massive impact. If you're someone who likes to do multiple coats of mascara, you can do that very easily with this formula, but then I would recommend waiting like a minute, two minutes before continuing your makeup because this is a wetter formula that needs to dry. I don't want you to smudge it as you're working. I mean, look how stunning that is, obsessed. Now I'm going to do eyeliner, and usually I would do eyeliner before mascara. However, I think sometimes it can take away the impact of the mascara, so I wanted to show you this first. So this is our gel eyeliner called All Lined Up. It comes in two shades, black and brown, as does our mascara. 
and it is such a beautiful gel cream that applies smoothly it's pigmented and it's really easy to work with but then it dries down which is key because a lot of eyeliners and even mascaras end up all over your face not here now you do have to use a brush to apply, but once you get the hang of using a brush for eyeliner, this format is like the best you could possibly use because it's the most versatile. So you can use it to do just a plain line, you can do a winged liner, you can do a smudged liner, you can do a lot more than you can with like a liquid eyeliner or a pencil eyeliner. I am gonna do kind of like a smoky effect. So I'm just gonna do a quick line. Now I'm just gonna take a brush to kind of smudge it out a little bit. And I'm gonna angle some of that out just a little bit for a very subtle lift. We're not doing like a wing, just like a subtle lift. So moving on into lips, we have the world's first plastic package, so very durable lipstick tube that is 100% fully recycled and fully recyclable. You see that pigmentation, by the way, in that shade? I love that. That's the shade Petal. This formula, Comfy Matte, is velvety, it's lightweight, it's hydrating, and it gives you a demi-matte finish. So it's not like a dry and crusty matte, you can see, and it doesn't dry on your lips dry and crusty. Um, but it doesn't have any like real gloss or shine and definitely no shimmer to it. So I'm going to apply retro really quickly. Sometimes when I'm in a rush, I also like to just dab my brush or my finger over my lips and use that as a monochromatic blush. And these work really well for that too. So that's a nice little hack if you need blush quickly and you have a lipstick on you. And last but not least, we have a super slick lip jelly, another one of my personal favorite products. This is the definition of like juicy lips. So it's sheer color. It's not anything crazy pigmented, but it just, it's juicy, it's glossy, and it's super nourishing. Like if you could imagine a cross between a lip gloss and a lip balm, that's what this product is. I love it so much, perfect for layering. I'll show you what it looks like when I layer over a lipstick, but it's also great on its own. I just applied that like a Neanderthal. One second, please. All fixed. Tell me that is not such a stunning, juicy red lip. It's unreal. And it's such a nice texture. It feels substantial on your lips, but it isn't like thick or sticky, which I don't love in a gloss. It just feels balmy and slippy. I love it. This tube is also 100% previously recycled plastic. So cutting down on plastic waste, plastic production, all the things that we like to hear. So there you have it. This is the finished look. How stunning, right? So let me get a little bit closer so you can see the texture. There's no editing. There's no filtering. This is straight out of the camera. So um, what you're seeing is what's actually happening on my face and I am obsessed. I really cannot say enough how proud I am of what we have been able to bring to this product line while keeping it affordable. I hope you love it too. Bye.